Well, as you can see, I'm uh, up on uh, a roof. It's the roof of Glasgow Central Station. Uh, today, I've had a tour of the station, uh, a bit of a history tour, and that's proving very popular with people. That was fascinating. So we saw down below, uh, we've seen how they control the trains, and, and now we're seeing the intricacy uh, of the uh, rail system from here. What a fantastic spot. So, great staff here at the Central Station. People know that already who use it. Um, very lucky. Um, and I'm just delighted to have been here today. When I was up on the roof, I discovered there are 48,000 panes of glass. Waverley Station in Edinburgh has just 17,000, but that's still a lot of glass to be cleaned. The station opened in 1879 after a three year build and it's the busiest station outside of London. And one thing that really fascinated me during the tour, led by Paul Lyons, was an old map in a museum that he's created, which showed pre-beaching routes. You can see how well connected places were compared to now. From East Kilbride, where I live, you could get a train to Straven and another to Blantyre. You can't do that now. Running the railways, involves a lot of people and it's complicated so can i thank them all for what they do and i'll be visiting other parts of the system very soon